Good morning, Pin family. How we doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hydration. Hydration. Good morning. Present. How are y'all? Good looking through the messages here. How are y'all doing? Having a good day? Woo! I'm podcasted. I'm podcasted. Not often Twitch notifies me before the stream. It's a rare day indeed. <laughs> The man of the beard, or is it the beard of the man? We're about to have to have a, it's it's about beard trimming time. So we're it's going to be like mega gray. It's it's haircut time too, let's face it. How am I doing? Eric, I am doing really well? Question mark. I think I'm good. The key is don't take a break between podcast and stream. Because then I don't know really what's going on in the world or how I have to feel or how I'm supposed to feel or what my inbox looks like. Uh, so right now, perfect. Because <laughs> I'm talking to y'all. I just talked about pins with Mike. Now I'm talking to y'all. And we're going to do a little show and tell this morning. Not all the top five pin stuff. Um, but yeah, like I'm doing good. How are you doing, Eric? I you, you always ask how I'm doing. How are you? How are all of y'all? Nice pencil, Brad. Yes, this is the this is the pencil of the week, the writing implement of the week. My stolen returned spoke model four, 0.7 millimeter. I gotta change this graphite. Gotta train change this lead. It is not for me. I just haven't had time to go grab. I should go grab. I should go grab my uh, my lead stash. Oh, this is a uh, uh, this is part of the shirt. We should just do this. So now, now we just fancied up the stream. This is where we're not going to play. This is a um, this is a handkerchief uh, pocket square now. So that we just fancied up the stream. <laughs> this shirt reminds me of your right notebook notebooks wrapping. Yeah, Tess is really good. Loving your William Hanna. Good. I'm. It's. So this is how we're streaming now. This is right in front of me. Right. This is right in front of me. Uh, I just made it a suicide mission on ME2 last night. What's ME2? Mass Effect. I need to lift my pinky to be here. I mean, we do write like this sometimes. La, la Adit du Pen. Mass Effect 2. Cool. That's awesome. Good morning, Rewizzles. Yes, that right pocket notebooks is very much my aesthetic. This is Monsieur Penadit. Um, so yeah, let's get that. Thank you. Those, they are awesome notebooks. I, I will admit that. All right. We should give us some of those away on stream. I don't have any in here right now. I'm ignoring, avoiding novel edits, but it needs to be done. That's a, uh, yeah, that's one of those tasks that I would probably avoid too. Uh, the monocle new in the shop. Yes, we should get a, a monocle. Gen gentleman stationer is the is the is the real gentleman here. He's got the top hat. Does he have a monocle in his logo? I'd have to look. It's just the top hat, I think. Mm. So do I? I need to play Mass Effect Two. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start doing some more games on stream. I really need to pick up my Switch game um, activities. You know, there's lots of fun games on the Switch that would be fun to stream uh, as well. Like, I'm not going to play baseball on stream, maybe. I don't know, I might. I'm in a league that if that it has some other streamers in it. Like, if they stream the game, maybe I'll pop in and stream the game. So, I don't know. I see that ink bottle back there on the edge. I get nervous. It's it's in the clear. It's it's in a good spot. Oh, Joe's logo is a bowler hat. Yeah, true. That's still fancy. Still fancy. See a Cafe du Monde tin? Yes, I have two of those full of pencils. This one has my black wing... Um, volumes tubes where they send like the extra the the keeper uh pencil and then i have another pencil in the closet of doom another uh tin in a closet of doom that's just full of random pencils so yeah it's good it is good i know we we got to go to get back to new orleans ourselves maybe i'll go this fall break my wife just tasked me with a um all right clarude have a good one i'm not too far behind you in food um, my wife just tasked me with um, fall break plans um, that I have to to come up with the plans. New Orleans is now on the list, officially on the list. So much so, I'm going to write that down.
bam. All right. I really need my new planner layout because I'm kind of already done with this week. Like it's mostly full. I mean, not really. There's a ton of space left, but I have a lot more to write. And I haven't like really compacted this uh, this page, but I would like to do today's notes on today instead of having to figure out where all the stuff is. All right. Hey, Momo Crafting. Thank you so much. I hope to stop by your stream soon. I saw you yesterday, and then I could never swing it to stop by, but uh, y'all go give Momo Crafting a follow. I need to get the shout-out. All right, help me do a shout-out stream. How do I do a shout-out stream? I mean, a uh, shout-out command. Let's set it up right now. How do I shout-out a person's uh, thing? I just got a notification that you were live, and you've been here since I started, so yeah, we're 10 minutes since launch. Hey, Brad, can you share a bit of the Miami Pen Show? First time going there and wanted to get an insight. Uh, yeah, I have not been to Miami. MD Girl for Life has been to Miami, I think. Um, if Miss G's Crafties comes, she volunteers at Miami. So I know it's run by Bert Ozer, who's one of the best people in the industry. It's a smaller show, um, very community-based, really should be a great vibe. I have not person personally been to it, so I can't speak to that. But there are people in here, if uh, Miss G's Crafties gets on today, um, she can help you. And MD Girl, yeah, MD Girl for Life went in uh, 2019. All right, so we're going to do a shout out command. And I'm just going to put this in here. I, I need to go read how to do. Oh, all right. The, uh, the camera's in the way of this. We'll do shout out command later. But that's one of the things. Go follow Momo's Crafting. Momo Crafting. Click on her name. Click on the heart button. Good morning. I hate packing. Facts. I mean, raise your hand if you love packing. If Tony was here, he'd say he'd love packing just because he's obstinate that way. I mean, anyone love packing? I don't like either, Alan. Packing for a trip is still annoying, even though the trip is going to be possibly cool. Don't pack. Just buy new stuff when you get there. That's an option. That's an option. Packing for a trip is something I finally got into a down to a silence. I got real, I got pretty good at packing for trips because I started to care less. <laughs> if I'm packing, it means I'm going somewhere and I don't like going places. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Hey, JD lady, how's your day going? So yeah, like I have started to refine my packing isn't the right thing but i've started to understand that i can pack less than ever and be totally happy so basics and no extras is the way i've generally look look at it recently the last year of pen shows that i was going to but i haven't packed really for a trip like in a while no real big travel no air travel none of that single packing list always follow i must never need to deviate i should have an accessories packing list i do get a little bit shuffled when i uh accessorize you know just got a new nib off slack 14k fp nibs fci with a soft mod so good that sounds crazy good backpacking when i was in boy scouts taught me the value of packing life yeah but like back then when like we had like aluminum frame backpacks back then right <laughs> Like, I remember my Scouts pack was aluminum frame, and, like, that was never good. <laughs> it's Things have gotten so much better in this modern world for as far as packing goes. Any Father's Day specials you've seen lately in the pin world? You know what? I haven't seen any because, I, I mean, I really haven't been looking. Um, so I don't. Internal frame packs were just becoming a thing. Yeah. You do not need 18 pairs of underwear for a four-day trip. Facts. Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Uh, killer Sheep, I replied to your email. I haven't checked my email today. Um, I mean, no rush on replying, but I did see it. Uh, packing up after camping for three days, teaching my kids the value of minimal packing. That's really, really important. All right, y'all want to talk some fountain pens? Because we're not going to have too long of a stream today, maybe an hour or so. And obviously, we'll do a giveaway at the end. We'll find something cool, cool to give away. What I want to see is if the walnut tray is good on the camera i don't know 
how the lighting affects the tray. So there's some things to discuss here that I've been promise y'all, promising y'all I was going to discuss. I don't know if that's better or my gray. So, all right, number one. Or number two. One or two. One. Two. I don't think it matters. I think one. We'll go with one today, then we'll continue to adjust. Because I'm gonna get a whole new I need to get a whole get a whole new um mouse pad thing here. Because this has these micro pebbles in here that reflects the light a lot. So I want to cover it up to a, some degree. But like when you have sparkle pen versus brown pen in the same tray, like there's only so much you can do. What happened to the color desk? It's right here. Um, it's just the sheet is a little bit bigger than the space I have designated for the new camera. So, and plus like a gray background's a little bit better. All right, so let's, we're going to talk, we'll talk, we'll save this one for last. If the sparkle pen is causing you problems, you have my address. We'll talk about that. So my top five fountain pens update went out on Monday for the price range between $100 and $200. That is a Twisby Micarta. We're going to save that for last. That's not on the list, but I've been promising to show you all that. So this is my favorite price range of pens and you can see why like this is my aesthetic this is not in the price range these are in the price range this is just different and I, you'll see why in a second love that pin tray unholy keeps thank you for the follow i'm gonna get mike to build me a keeb soon um i'm always open to recommendations love that pin tray yeah that was um the pin tray was a impulse buy and I'm that I'm happy with. So, yeah. All right. So I should have suggested Opus 88 on the stream. So let's talk about that right now. Opus 88 is why I need to bracket out this range from 150 to 250 and then have like 75 to 150. Neil, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you have 75 to 150 and opus might top that list either the 88 or the coloro maybe not the pilot custom 91 if it's still there would probably top that list yoseka is physically open we've had uh we have a uh follower that has been to the reopening so yeah opus 88 is a great example of why we need to change the brackets of the list. So what we really need is, gosh, we almost need under 75. I don't know, that might be too high. 75 to 150. I don't wanna do 100 to 150. And then 150 to 250. And then everything else. It's kinda of how I think it needs to go. Opus is, is a main reason why. So, 50 and under, 50 to 150. One, I think the 50 to 150 is, is a problem because you get such different pins in there. Like, 50 to 150 is a Pilot Custom 91. Not going to be better than all of that. And it's going to start right at the top. And then you have to include Opus. You have to conclude, include Kaveco. You have to include Twisby. And are you telling me to rank the Twisby 580 AL versus the Pilot Custom 91? I almost feel like that Pilot needs to get out of that list because it's such a good pen. Like it would just, I don't know. That's, these are the conversations I have in my head. Like, I'm not disagreeing, but that's kind of how I'm thinking about it right now. So, 
under 25. Yeah, 25 to 75, 75 to 50. Yeah, that's closer. That's closer, Renegade. That's closer to what I think. So this is my number one pen, even though this is like the $200 version. Um, the I do have at least one or two other ones that I paid under $200 for. So the Platinum 3776. Could also break it out steel nibs versus gold nibs. That's not a terrible idea. But the problem is some of the gold nib pens are such a good deal that it's funny putting, you know, a $150 gold nib pen, you know, versus a comparable steel nib pen. I don't know. That makes sense. So this is the UEF nib. This one, this is the Platinum 3776. It runs about 180. Um, this one was about 200 um, because of the rhodium trim. I prefer the rhodium trim. Maybe, Kate? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, top five. It's hard to get everything in there. So this is the Leonardo Memento Zero, which is just fantastic. This one's called Blue Hawaii. This is the one I reviewed. Um, this one I think you can still get for like around 160 I think, which is a great deal for this pen. You know, I have more expensive ones that I paid more for. Like, I have a rose gold trim one. I obviously have a grande, which is the piston filler. Um, a stiff gold nib can be hard to tell from a steel nib. I agree. That's why I like steel nibs. Like, I really do. Like, I obviously love the gold nib on the platinum. But you're not missing out with a steel nib in this pen. I bought the mango yesterday, impulse buy, after seeing your feed. I think you weren't the only one. So that's the next one I'm going to ink up. What's funny about these pens is I don't have any of these inked up right now. Although I love the Leonardo. Like, this is just a great pen. Like, for the price and what you get, like, these are really, really, really hard to beat. So, it's really, really good. Oh, by the way, I never got shipping emails from the Twitch giveaways. You know what? I didn't follow up on what I said I was going to do. I can do this quickly. What's the first pen on the left? We're going to save that one till last. Because it's a separate conversation. But we will get to it. Um, I just want to do this. Sorry. I, I'm going to look at the shipping stuff real real fast. Because I said I was going to do it. Uh, to do send push notifications. And I didn't. But I sent everything except need less. Need less. I didn't get an uh, email from you. Everyone else has shipped yesterday. This is the group I'm in, most interested in. Also, the price point that holds me back. Fair. There's no rush. That's the beauty. No rush. None of this is going anywhere. That is the beauty. Look at all these shipment notifications that didn't get sent. It's whack. Whack, I say. Send notifications. We'll see if that works. I don't know if it will. So it's lame if it doesn't because there's an option to do it. The pins aren't going anywhere except up. I think Leonardo and Esty should be there for now for a little bit, you know, years. Platinum, I'm not sure. They're, they're on the precipice. Um, it's really hard to beat Twisby Go. Look at that. $20 pen, $22 pen. Oh, you're welcome, Mafia Geek. My collection of purple pens grows even greater. Yeah, so this is the Lilac Estabrook. I, I brought the, um, <laughs> this is a 300 and something dollar one because of the material. So this one does not fit in the category, but I brought it because when I grabbed them this morning, I realized I had the section for the vintage Esterbrook nibs in here. I was like, oh, I'll just grab my lilac, throw the journaler nib in there, um, which is what I have here. So I've been swapping this nib back and forth, but I didn't have the section. The sections, I left it back in the room. So this is the diamond, this is the upgrade of this. So this is like 156. This was like 300 and something. I didn't pay for this. <laughs> so sorry, um, that was a gift to me. So sorry, Alan, you can't have it. 
because it was a gifted to me. Um, so you will not have that one. I will have that one. And I'll be very happy about that having that one. Look at all these notifications that did not get sent. Let's check. That is so lame. That really makes me agitated. So we'll try that one. Let's see if that works. That doesn't... Ooh, I think that one got sent. Great, I can do all these manually. All right, who said they didn't get a notification? I'm gonna, well, we're gonna do a test right now. Do you think the Diplomat Magnum could be a contender for under 50? Um, put a link to the Magnum, let me see that one. Allen, Allen is in there. All right, let's test Allen's order. All right, it says it did. I'm thinking it didn't. All right, we'll test Allen's. If that works, then I'll get everyone's. So anyway, this is the Lilac that is the $156 model. So Alan, you tell me if you get a notification soon and then I'll resend everyone else's. So yeah, so these are the three, three of the top five. The ones missing is the Diplomat Arrow, which I, getting a new one i'm getting a fan uh, above 200 dollars one and then the lamy 2000 which i couldn't find this morning <laughs> when i was trying to to gather them up for stream dull Wiz, thanks for the follow appreciate you come hang out talk about pens it's what we do here sometimes we write let me see which one the magnum is what's the difference thank you for the follow hope you're having a good day oh yeah so this is the magnum magnum so this is where opinion gets in the way of reality. I hate how the Magnum looks. I can't get over the aesthetics of the Magnum. It is objectively a really good pen. <laughs> so, getting the Zeppelin? No, I'm getting the black stripe one. I don't know what it's called. Um, so, yeah. The Diplomat Magnum, I'm have I have a really hard time looking at that pen. Everyone has who has reviewed that pen, including Jeff on the Pen Addict, has raved about the quality of that pen. So I'm kind of torn. <laughs> I'm kind of torn on that one, just because I think it's straight up ugly. Um, it's very difficult. For me to to recommend that but if anyone says hey what do you think about the magnum like it's objectively good right so all right um uh, i put the magnum in the same group as the rotary core for the aesthetics it's a very bold design that will appeal to some people but also really turn off other people is the brown one the magnum i think they all are on that link that uh ryan put in there Oh, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. What's the difference? So the link you have to follow um, to to see. Sorry, I got I got confused on what you were asking there. So, does anyone have anything that I'm missing in the one hundred to two hundred dollar price range? And then we'll go to this. Like I would argue that the pilots. The two gold nib entry level pilots, the 91 and the 74, um, are reasonable. Parker Sonnet will never make this list because of the price point. I actually think that one gets into the overpriced. There was that smaller maker I mentioned yesterday. You'd have to refresh my memory. I was also kind of skipping the... Um, what's a difference? Someone uh, type in exclamation point top five. And you will find out my disposable pen recommendations. Mm. Damn it, Kate. Every time. Every time. You think I would stop falling for that? 
I love the custom 74 over the 3776. You're not going to get an argument from me. Right? Like, I, I, ha I have no argument for that. Speaking of the icon, so I'd love to get an icon with a lime green barrel, which I know you haven't done yet. Should I wait? Or if you have no plans to the immediate future, get one now. Wait a few weeks. I don't know if lime green's coming yet, but I'll know more in a few weeks uh, because we ordered a bunch of different colors and we got to see how they look. Is a 74 longer than the 3776? I'd say almost certainly not. Oh, you're definitely in the in the right uh, right place. What's the difference? You are 100% in the right place. We can help you with all the stuff. So if if it's longer, it it's tiny, tiny difference. Um, I'd go grab my 74, but I don't know where it is immediately offhand. So no shipping notification yet. Yeah, so it didn't on the on the um, shipping platform. It'll ha it'll update whether the notification has been sent and it's still blank. So I don't expect that it's going to go, which boggles my mind because your email ask address is in there and it says send notification and I did it. I, I wish I wish I could I can I can email tracking. Why Studio Brass Pen? Wow. I love the Pilot 95 over everything. Um, I don't disagree with that. The 95 will never make the list because of the shape for what I'm trying to accomplish with the list. Does that make sense? So the Y Studio Brass Pen, I think, doesn't make the list. But it would be in my personal top five of that price range. It's also like $186, so it's getting it's pushing the limit. It's not going to appeal to enough people. But it would be in my personal top five in this price range, if that helps you. <laughs> my most used is the EF Platinum Preppy with the metal barrel. I love your list. What a great pen. The Sailor Blue, Blue Green Nebula PGS and the Icon are the only two pins that I have that really pink my interest so far this year. That's two good pins. I mean, I'm I'm discounting the fact that like the the Icon talk. Like I I think that I think just objectively those are really good, like good good ideas. Time to email the shipping platform tech support. Yeah, it's ship station, so it's big platform. It should it should technically work. So I don't understand why it's not. Wow, I checked inform delivery and it appears that I'll be getting your package to, tonight. I don't even know what that means. What is this current list? Um, do exclamation point top five. This is specifically fountain pens between $100 and $200. It was in the top three for your Apple boom. Yeah, exactly, Ryan. Like, like personally, it's a top five pen. Recommendations wise, I'm answering a different question. So does the tray look okay on stream with the pins in on it? I know like this is like these are extreme the stream extreme into the pen thing, but I kind of got the tray to do this and if it looks good on the stream with the camera, I think we'll keep it. Like it's just a good way to to not have things running away from me while I'm talking about them. Like I can pick things up and just <laughs> and put them down and have them roll away just like I did. <laughs> That's funny. 9 p.m. on the 19th. Yeah, I didn't drop them off till last night. I didn't drop them off until after close last night. All the packages. So, that's funny. All right. So, yeah. So, what I'm understanding is we're kind of in the ballpark on this, on this list. Like, what else are we going to do other than change the brackets to kind of figure out what's in that $100 to $150 price range that's important to recommend? Um. Because not one of these pins that are in the new list are under 150. Have Gala make you a, a custom Desco tray. I want to get the comb for my Kavecos, the circular, the circular thing. Um, for that. All right. So let's talk about Macarta. We can leave some of these pins up here. I'm gonna talk about this. I'll talk about this. And this, pardon the arm. 
might need to change it to be like 75 to 150 and 150 to 250. I think so. All right, so let's talk about Micarta and G10. So what we were talking about last week, Franklin Christoph 45, I actually mentioned that on the podcast today. Maybe pins that have a similar color to the tray will not look as good. Yeah, but you can't have it all work. I mean, this brown is about as close as it gets, and it's got a, a good, a different enough color. So what we were talking about with the G10 material is the... That's specifically why I ordered this one, Tony. Because it was clipless. Um, we were talking about the G10 material because it is fibrous, right? You can't really see it in the camera. Uh, and there's not really a texture to it, but you can see... Um, Curious why you think the Parker Sauna is overpriced for the quality. I think it's the comparison versus the other pens that are the exact same price range. Like it wouldn't rate for me. I like it's just been inconsistent writer when I've had them, and I don't think they offer enough for in comparison to the other pens in that price range. So they have a texture in here. Right, you can't necessarily feel it, but you can see it. So what I was saying is, you don't want to dip these pins in here, even though this one has a different feed. It's got an acrylic feed. So that's G10. This is also G10, where you can see the fibers in the pen. If I can influence her hands it enough. So that is not like staining or brown ink or something. That's actually the fibers being cut into the threads of this pen. My focus isn't going to get this close, I don't think. I'm still learning the focus on this camera. So, And then up here in the section, you start to see a little bit of staining on the edge. Really, the camera can't pick that up that well. So, yeah, the camera's... I got too much in the background. I need to practice the influencer hands. That's right. Um, so then you have the micarta. So what I was talking about is I would never dip this into a bottle because it's just going to go straight into the material here so, and stain this part of the section. You can see it's kind of exposed around here. This is a one-off Edison Pearl and G10 material. So then the micarta will show you what it looks like when the ink gets in the material. So this is the micarta pen. When Twisby made these, they were less than $100. They were like two off technically. There's a black and an orange one. I have both of those. Is there another orange one? The black one's actually pretty stained because someone else had it um, and then sold it to me. So yeah, I have the black one too. The black one is stained. I should bring I should bring should have brought that one in. I didn't have it out though. I love these top fives. Thanks you. Thank you, Enigma. So this is the Micarta, right? It's a lighter weight material. It's more cotton fiber based. Still glue, still stacked material. And Twisby, when they did these, I don't know how many years ago, six or seven years ago, they were less than a hundred dollars. Um and you can see the material here. It was around a hundred, and then this is what it looks like when you get ink in it. So that will never come out, right? So that is ink in the material, which is fine. Like, I don't hate it. I would prefer it not. This is because my feed cracked on the inside, not because I would I dip this in the bottle. I would never dip this in the bottle, but the feed cracked on the inside, so ink got in here. Well, I'm not going to pull this out. I guess it's friction fit. Yeah, this is Bach. Um... So yeah, the feed cracked at one time, and you can see it got all on the interior of the pen, and you can see how it stained wherever it was, wherever it could get to on the inside. Yeah, it looks great with the stain section. I have no problem with it. Like I wouldn't do that on purpose. Like I wouldn't dip it in the bottle on purpose. But that's what it looks like when this material stains, because I had a problem inside of here. The ink got loose, and then that's where it came out at. So that's what I wanted to show y'all. But this is still like a great pen. Like people would want to to 
would gladly take this off my hands even as ugly as it is now which i think it's still beautiful and most micartas do change uh, color with the oils in your hands absolutely right so this is really 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 cool pen that I should probably ink up and use because I got the nib ground on this and it was a Bach nib, Bach steel nib which I don't love but I got it into a cursor metallic grind put the converter in the ink rather than the whole pen or fill the converter with the blunt syringe yeah that's kind of that's how I do it especially with this type of pen but sometimes sometimes things just happen and that's what happened with this so that's what I wanted to show y'all as far as this material goes and how it's different than an acrylic nib that you would just dip in like I would dip this in no problem in the bear in the inkwell but I don't want the ink on here um, you know if you have you have inky hands it's also going to transfer onto here as well a little less on the g10 but you're definitely going to see it up in the section I actually stopped using this as much because it was the the ink was coming through but I should just get over it and and do it so anyway that's what I wanted to show y'all with this micarta that I said I was going to keep uh, getting. And yeah, I should like, I should ink up all these pens, right? That's the one thing I can't do is I love all of these pens. I want to use all of these pens right now. This is the only one I have inked up right now. It almost looks like yeah, leather. It actually feels kind of like leather in a weird way, just because it is like this. It's, it's really like a cotton fiber. So... I feel the same way about micro scratches and other signs of use. It happens and shows it's been loved. Part of the fun of buying some used pens. Yeah, that's why I don't, I'm not careless with my Nakayas and my Namikis, but I don't overthink it, right? Like my Namikis sitting right here in this case. And like, I'm not gonna hesitate to like bring it out and like just sit it right on top of these pens. Like I'm not gonna baby it. Right, I'm not gonna throw it across the room or drop it in a gravel driveway, but like I'm just gonna use it otherwise, right? It's if you pay that much for a pen, it's just it has to be used. It just does. So there you go. I bought a bought a pen with a wax ball on the nib. I mean, gel ink pens and ballpoints come with those little dry out protectors. I think is what they are. So you got to remove those. <laughs> Pin cleaning day soon? Probably not. I still have some to go through here. Like, and I just inked this up. So we'll have to, we'll have to get through. So yeah, the micro scratches and dings and dents don't bother me. I mean, it happens. Like, I'll never forget the story. I've told this story several times. The Monday after I bought my Sailor King of Pen Sky... We took it to a burrito joint, had lunch. We were sitting outside on a picnic table. I had it on the table. It rolled off the table, hit the ground. I didn't flinch. Like, I, I looked at it, it was like, seems fine. Seems fine. No big deal. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to do it on purpose, but I'm also not going to, like, baby these things, right? These are tools meant to be used. What is the orange pen? It's an Edison Pearl G10. Um... I flinched just hearing that. Yeah, like, yeah, it was capped. But even if, like, the nib got slammed, I would just send it off and get it fixed. Like, you know, burrito hands on the pen. Do the Keras car test on the Nakaya? That I will not do. We're not, I don't think I have, like, we could probably drive over these two. That's about it. <laughs> It would be fun to do see your personal favorite in each, each price category. I should do that. Like, I should write a post that, um, I may have done that before, but I didn't really expand on it. That would be that would be good, because like we were just talking about the um, the brassing. We'll also see the 
top five in various price bracket brackets well that's what's on my top five page so if you go to the top five exclamation point top five you'll see it now it's not like an infinite amount of brackets but it's there no the top five lists are explicitly not my personal favorites they're my recommendations and there is a difference and I explained that in the in the top of the article. They are explicitly not my personal favorites because those are not don't always equal the pen I would recommend. Does that make sense? Like the brassing, the Y Studio brassing would be in my top five pens, but they I would not recommend that pen. I used to break it down. I do top five recommendations, top five Brad, top five recommendations, top five Brad. And then I the list got too long. So I should do a separate article that lists my top five. I'll start doing that. I, I will definitely start doing that. Because yeah, people do wanna people do wanna see that because that's how you get something like the the um, Y Studio, the the brassing fountain pen in there. I'd love to see your post about personal favorites. Yeah, I think I could do it. The spoke pen likes to fall on the floor in your office. Yeah, it does that. It's a little bit of a rolly. Brad's top five is better as an article rather than a resource page. 100%. That's how it would be. It wouldn't be on that top five page. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to muddy the waters there. Like that's a definitely a thing that has to be, just like an article. Hmm. So what would my top five? 100 to 150s be the platinum the y studio the memento zero i'm just wondering if i'm missing like something obvious that would be for me like the montauk grappa elmo is another favorite of mine but they don't they don't have enough variety in there to be spoke <laughs> any maker see that's the thing is like then okay yeah, there would be a ton of maker pens on my personal list, but then uh, my personal top fives are all skews because I think it depends at the price I bought them at, not the current price. That's also a challenge. Exactly, Renegade. So the more you know, the less you need the list. That's why it's a recommendation page. Exactly. Shown Design Pocket 6, awesome pen, yeah. Like that would probably make my personal list, but then that's like in the maker pen directory. That's where it, oh, it's so challenging, it's hard, it's difficult. So let's do something easy, like give something away. All right, let's do something easy. Giving something away is easy. Hmm. All right, I think I put everything in the closet. In the closet, in the ice box. Ice box of happiness time. What to do today? Let me look poke around. I don't have any I don't have any uh, super super clear thoughts on this. I'm thinking What should we do? I don't know what this is, but I'm not giving it away yet. It looks fancy. I've given away a lot of fancy stuff. We'll save that one for another, for a fancy day. Hmm. Let's do this and this as a set. I need to replenish the ice box of happiness. I mean, there's still like 50 things, but I gotta do, I gotta. You should give away the cap to your Micarta? No way. So much better without the clip. 
This is this is the best. I've been offered monies for that pen several times, but I haven't shown it in a while. Penatic Musgrave, pencil attic Musgraves. Yeah, we'll do that one day, and we'll do some of the notebooks. I just don't have any in here. Um, I'll bring some of all that into the thing. So let's do a let's do a paper combo. All right, we got to figure out what we have here. So we have the Taroko design from Taiwan. And this is the Traveler's Notebook size. But what's cool about this one, 68 GSM Tomoe River paper. All right. So that's a really neat notebook. And we will include one of my favorites, the Robiki note. This is the smaller pocket size. They usually usually have the long skinny notebooks that are skinnier than this. This is what made me want to give them away together because this is a little different. This is the shorter size Robiki. This cover is great, isn't it? And it's also the wax paper cover, right? These are the waxy covers that they use. I know the Tomoe is like gold. We have more Tomoe to give away. This is not Tomoe. This is... Um, I forget which type of paper they it's one of their own papers or something they source directly but it's always been fountain pen friendly the ones that they use for the robiki notes yeah this color is just great this pattern i love robiki like if i'm picking between which two to use i'm using this like i know y'all want the tomoe but like this is what i'm using because it it's not tomoe right i don't have anything against tomoe but i like you the different things i can use enjoy using on that so let's give these away let me get my keyboard i'm going home to more tomoe river in my no, no mailbox and a knife panic pencils loaner bix and notebooks arrived yesterday but my fever hasn't broken up to walk oof oh i hope your fever gets better all right I have to look over my camera. All right. Taroko. Robiki. So one person's going to win both of these notebooks. Sound good? Good. I mean, you don't have a choice. That's what I'm giving away. So to enter the giveaway, exclamation point raffle. Please join us. Anyone can win. And I will write your raffle winner name with the Mr. Cypress G10 and Mont Blanc Leo Tolstoy Inc. Peggy Love, eight months of subbing. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Glad you're here. I want to take a napple. Mm. I'm actually good on the nap situation today. We need raffle music. We need a lot of music. Honestly, I like background music and I just, I haven't done it right yet and spent the time to do it right people keep sending me the links i know what to what to do i just have not done it so we'll have to work on that um you also don't want me to sing the raffle music you don't want me to do 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 it do, 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 do. you don't need raffle you don't need music um you realize that i'm going to do the opposite of what you say right just kind of how it works <laughs> we can get you an auto-tune rack and it would be awesome truth you did it for the podcast why wouldn't you do it here what do you mean do either of your kids play an instrument they do not Elizabeth played guitar for a couple years and then she just got out of it. Brad, are you a Taurus? That sounds like something I'd say. I do the opposite of what tells me to do, even if I was about to do the thing until they said to. No, it's just Tony. Tony brings out brings that out in me. Um, oh, you were staunchly against opening theme music for the podcast back when we added it. Gotcha. I still want to change it. So we're 466 episodes in and I want to... I, Mike has tried to license music for me. Um, some like real life songs. Um and I have another one I want him to try one day. But he tried to get one for my birthday one year. Um, but it was too expensive. 
Um, but I'm I'm a Leo, so I'm not a Taurus. I'm a Leo. Leo's Leo's rule. All right, let's pick a winner. And no, I did not get the Leo Sailor Bungu Box Mini. Look at this. We broke the seal. All bets are off now. It is on. Y'all are never going to win another auction. I mean another auction, another raffle. Y'all are never going to win again. We have broken the seal. Alan will win one of every four raffles from this point forward. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Once you win once, I, I guess the algorithm really likes you. I think that must be the way this goes. <laughs> yeah, WTF for sure. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Once you got to get that first win. After that first win, all the things apparently wide open plus he he had good karma for switching the uh switching what he won for something else good karma all right nice the bot takes a while to warm up to some people <laughs> that's funny all right you're on the list, Alan. You have to email me. I don't play favorites around here. You have to email me again. Needing less, if you're here, you need to email me because you're the only one I didn't get shipped out yesterday. I forgot even what you won. When is the raffle for the longest losing streak? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Barry, are you on the longest? Are you on the longest losing streak? <laughs> Too late, already emailed. Alan is a fast emailer. I, I remember when uh, you won last week, like the email was in there. It helps me helps me organize all the goodies. Does it count as a losing streak if you don't enter in the first place? No. No. Nope. You're just missing out on all the fun, Tony. Just missing out on the fun. All right, chat. I am talked out. Podcast stream. I like these kind of kind of short streams after the podcast. I can't go I can't go big after the podcast. I have enough of my own crap. I don't need yours too. Factually correct. Happy hump day, everyone. Let's see. Let's see if we have anyone to to send it to today. I wasn't prepared. Oh, that journaling guy, Bryant's on. Let's see. Let's see what's up. There's me. <laughs> Let's see. I'm always up for recommendations too. Comfiest cat, glad you were here. Appreciate you. Oh, here, here's Knit Cake, journaling and organizing supplies. Let me see what this is. Oh, they're in Stationary Brew. That's who we're doing. Knit Cake. All right, hang on. I haven't, I haven't watched any, any. Nitcake before. All right, that's who we're doing. 